Hello guys and welcome back to another video. In today's video I will be reviewing the Marlboro M82 portable power station. This power station has a capacity of 88 watt hours and 24,000 mAh. This power station is compatible with phones, laptops, iPads, cameras, fans, LED lights, drones and many other gadgets. But keep in mind, the voltage should not go above its maximum limit. Inside the box, you will find this 12 volt adapter that is used for charging up gadgets that are mostly used in cars. So, in that way you will not have to start the car, you can just power up that gadget through this adapter. And inside the box, you will get a power adapter. You can charge this power station by using this power adapter or a solar panel. But you will have to buy the solar panel separately, as it's not included in this package. And finally, inside the box, you will find the power station itself. It is quite compact. It weighs 2.4 pounds. And it's built by good quality materials. It has a lithium ion battery and supports AC, DC and 18 watt fast charging. It has a solid build and there is no rattling inside. It also has a handle for holding it easily. You will connect the solar panel or adapter for charging this power station here. You can power your devices using these regular sockets. In addition to this, this charging station has two USB-A ports that provide 18 watts. It also has two normal USB-A ports and a DC out port and finally a Type-C port which also supports fast charging up to 18 watts. It has a very bright light. You can adjust the intensity of the light and it also has an SOS mode. So this light will be beneficial while camping or if your car breaks down and you need some light for fixing it up or warning other drivers. At the front you will find a battery indicator showing the charge level of the battery, a power button for the USB ports and a special button for using the sockets. You will have to press this button to use the sockets. Underneath you will get these short rubber legs which will prevent this power station from slipping. As this power station was not charged when I received it, I used a power adapter to charge it. Marbera says that it will usually get fully charged in 5 hours while using the power adapter. It took about 2.5 hours to charge it up to 4 bars and the 4th bar was still blinking. But for the purpose of this video, I decided to go ahead and demonstrate the use of this power station. Before using it, I will highly suggest going through the user manual so that you can use this power station properly and safely. I will be plugging in several gadgets into this power station and let's see how it works. First, I tried charging my laptop using the 18 watt USB-A port. But sadly, it didn't work. So I decided to use the other socket for charging the laptop using the laptop's own charging adapter. And it worked. Maybe my laptop requires more power so I had to use the power adapter. And after this, I connected my phone to this power station. And I used the 18 watt USB-A port for charging the phone. Here you can see the phone is charging in the fast charging mode. And after this I plugged in a pixel screen to the USB-A port which provides regular charging. And the pixel screen worked. Then I plugged in RGB strip lights into the power socket of this power station. And those strip lights also worked. I also tried powering up a dash cam using this power station and it powered on successfully. 
Since my car's dashcam isn't hardwired, it turns off when the car is off. Sometimes you want a dashcam on even while the car is parked. In such cases, this power station can be used to provide power to the dashcam for a long time, as dashcams don't use much power. I also plugged in a security camera, which worked as well. So this power station can be used to provide power to security cameras, especially if you are in a place where there is no power available. I did not run all these devices for a long time as my objective was only to show you that this power station can provide power to all of these devices without any issue. So the number of times you can charge a device depends upon how many devices you are using and how much power they need. For example, if you have a phone that has a capacity of 4000 mAh, you will be able to charge that phone 5 to 6 times. This power station can be used for low powered devices. You won't be able to run a TV or a desktop PC, as this power station only supports up to 88 watts. However, it can be a lifesaver, especially if you are camping. You can charge it with the help of a solar panel during the day and use it in the evening for lighting and charging your devices. Or you can just charge it at home and take it when you go out on a trip or keep it in your car. For example, if your car breaks down, you will be able to charge your phones with the help of this power station. In addition to this, the bright light on this power station can be used for warning other drivers or you can use it while repairing the car. And this was all about today's review. I will be making a follow-up video about this power station. If you have any questions, you can ask me in the comment section. If you liked this video, a thumbs up will be really appreciated. If you want to see more videos like this in the future, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Till next time, have a good one.